Here we go. So in this video, I want to show you some ways that you can learn more from YouTube than if you just sit and watch a video. Um, we always learn more if we're actually doing something. So for example, if you've found, I hope by now you've found the Clear ESOL channel. Um, if you've seen our playlists, if you're looking at this on a phone, you might see a playlists tab, which you can tap on to see a list and you'll have to scroll down more on the phone because they'll be in a, a vertical list. Um, you'll see that we've tried to collect um, lots of videos um, some of them are already on YouTube, some of them we're making ourselves uh, to help you learn online. Um, I'm going to show you a little bit of a couple of videos um, to give you some suggestions as to how to um, use them to make sure that you're really learning and not just watching and then forgetting everything again. So if we go into the vocabulary playlist, for example, oops, Do you I and your team play it. Let me go back. I didn't really want to play it, I wanted to view view the playlist, view full playlist so that I can choose which one. If you just click on it, it'll start playing through all these videos one by one. So there are a lot of videos here which just tell you vocabulary. They just teach you, actually we may as well just use the first one anyway. Um, so I want to learn parts of the body. I'll just watch the first one, and then I will pause in a moment. Parts of the body in English by Woodward English. Head. Head. Face. Face. Right, I'm going to pause the video there to talk about it for a minute. Um, don't worry if the video sounds funny on this recording. That's because of the way I'm recording it. When you play it, it should sound okay. It's got a kind of echo on it when I'm recording because I'm recording from my voice from a microphone and recording the um, computer audio uh, from the computer and from the microphone because my, my, my mic's picking it up as well. Um, so if I just sit and watch this video, I'm going to sit for six, nearly seven minutes and just listen and look to these words. But if I want to learn more, I should probably stop and use the controls to go back and repeat, but also do something. Um, so for example, after I've listened to it once, maybe I can pause before the video tells me the word and see if I can remember it. Uh, what's this word going to be? Ah, I think it's head. I could say it aloud, I could write it down, I could try to write the word on a piece of paper to see if I can spell it and then play the video to see if I was right. Head. Head. Notice that on the video the word head is written all in capital letters, but on the subtitles here it's showing in small letters. So you can check your spelling. So if you tried to write, if you paused it, tried to write it down, then when you play it again, if you pause it here, like I have done, you can check that you've written it correctly. You can listen again, pause it and repeat it if you want to practice saying the word. So you can go through the video slowly like that, stopping. Um, maybe watch it once first without doing that. But then when you have heard the words and seen the words once, play it again and, and use pen and paper to try to write the words. Um, or just try to um, stop the video and remember what the words are before the video tells you. That way you're using your brain a bit more actively um, 
thinking more. So hopefully it will help you learn more. Let's do one more. Face. I forgot to stop it, didn't I? Face. Let's take it back. Head. Here we go. What's this? Face. Can we write it down? Can we spell it? Now let's check if we spelt it correctly. Face. And check with the piece of paper if it's the same as what you're seeing on the screen. So that's just an idea. Um, some of the videos go faster. Um, I think there's a spelling test one, which is way too fast to... Um, I've got to find my way back now. Uh, subscriptions, where's clear? Clear easel. Playlist, well the playlist is showing here. Let's get rid of that one. Um, there's a spelling one somewhere which... Um, oh, I've done it again, I've clicked on that. I just want to see the whole playlist. That is a good video, Look. but I'm not going to show you that now. View full playlist. So these spelling quizzes, they're much too fast to just play the video straight through. But again, you can... Um, Writing's not that easy, but Grammarly can help. See if you can this sentence the is grammatically correct. Continues. So let's have a look. <laughs> Choose one from two choices. Okay. Tomorrow. It's counting down three, two, one. It's very quick. It's going to tell when this number counts down to one it's, uh, or to zero. It's going to take away the incorrect spelling and leave me with the correct one. So it's better if I pause it and I can look at them carefully and think about it, right? Which one do I think is correct? You could try to write, you could write down the one you think is correct or just think about it and decide for yourself before you let the video show you. Right, so what do you think? One or two, which one is the correct spelling? Let's see. There we go, so that's before it moves on. It was number one, and if you got it wrong, maybe you should now write down the correct spelling and maybe use this this video, um, Lewisham lesson, look, say, cover, write, check, final. Look, say, cover, write, check is a really good strategy for learning and remembering spellings. So have a look at that and then use words from the other videos that you need to learn to spell correctly. Use that technique to, to practice them. Okay, let's just do one more of these and then I'll let you Platform. Platform. Look how quickly that was counting down from free. It's going to whiz on before I have time to even notice the difference. But if I pause it, I can think about it. Look at the words carefully. Which one is the correct spelling of platform? A platform at a railway station. Do you think it's one or two? Decide what you think and then play. There we go, that's the correct one. If you thought it was two, maybe you should write down this spelling and learn it. So there we go, some ideas for using um, the video so that you're not just sitting and watching. I hope that helps, I hope that's helpful. If not, at the bottom of, of this video, you should see a space to, to comment if you want to, like there is on this one here, look. Um, Tell me, tell me what I've done wrong. Tell me what else you would like to see so that we can put more videos here that, that are useful. Okay, good luck.